halfway through, I'm getting kicked out. Seems like even better. Morning, Trainiacs. It is a super swim Sunday, long swim training day. For anyone that's new to the channel, training for a 39 kilometer swim in about three months. And every week I have to do a longer and longer and longer swim. Oh, I need gas. Last week we did an hour and a half. This week, increased that by about 10%. So we're going like hour and 45 minutes. And I'll probably break it up into four continuous chunks of 25, thereabouts. 25. And we'll keep that short and sweet in this old video here because I want to get to the office and today do a little something different than just the daily vlog. I've had the Skechers lineup for two months now and I want to run through the Skechers Go Run 5s, which is what I use to train and race in Half Ironman Camp Hetchy. Do these long swims with floaty pants. The nutrition that I'm going to use during the long swim gradually increase 10% every single week until we get up to about a four hour swim. <laughs> Just passed halfway through, I'm getting kicked out. This pool can't hold me anymore. It can't hold me. I moved over with my buddy Brent. We go watch says 5550 meters but i know that that's not right because i was doing hundreds so it'll say that on strava if you follow me there but if i had to guess it's more like 52 in one hour and 40 minutes four times 25 minutes so the garmin 920 xt it's probably the best value for an overall triathlon watch like this is the go-to that i recommend people buy but as far as indoor pool swimming the meters are often a little bit wonky other than that really good now my shoulders hurt i gotta go do some hanging to the office. All right, who wants to review some shoes? These ones. All right, ladies and germs, you wanna see how the magic happens with a glorious, perfect white backdrop? Check this out. And three, two, one. Bam! So these little devils are the Skechers Go Run 5s. I've been running in these for a couple of months. I think that between all the training for Ironman Campeche, using them in Ironman Campeche, and since Ironman Campeche, I've got, I would guess, somewhere around 250 to 300 kilometers in them, which is kind of close to 200 miles. I know these inside and out. Let's get into the review. Before I get into actually reviewing the shoe, uh, I figure I'll say that this is not a paid endorsed video. Skechers sent out three pairs of shoes, the GoMev Speed, the GoMev Razor, and the GoRun 5s, just for free for me to try out because my friend Nicole Walker is sponsored by them. She really liked the 4s and I've been interested in trying them for about a year now. So I reached out to them. Thanks for Skechers for sending these out. I love the 5s. I trained in them for Ironman Campeche. I raced in them for Ironman Campeche and I thought that at very least these were worthy of a review. The other ones I don't know nearly as well, but I probably have somewhere around 200 miles in them. I liked them. Okay, so this is the fifth iteration of Skechers getting into the elite shoe game. Uh, when I told people that I was going to be racing in Skechers, they were like, oh, did you go to the mall and get those with your dad? And that's typically the feedback and the reaction that people give when you tell them that you're going with a Skechers. They're not necessarily known for their elite shoes, but they have some really elite runners running in them. The sole is probably one of my most favorite soles of any shoe that I've ever tried. It's an 18 millimeter heel, a 14 millimeter toe. And for those people that like more minimal shoes, uh, zero drop shoes, they're following kind of the barefoot movement. This shoe is so close to that that you don't really notice the heel. The tread pattern is basically flat. Oh, there you go. So if you see that it feels 
kind of like a hoka in that you get a ton of cushioning, but you don't necessarily get that springiness or that bulkiness on the sides of the shoe that you might get on a hoka. Really, really good for those long days, like the 18, 19, 25 kilometer runs that we were doing in preparation. Perfect for that, even though that 14 and 18 millimeter footbed is not super built up. It gave a really good cushion under the foot, especially in the Winnipeg winters where there's lots of knobs from the ground constantly thawing and freezing. And then beyond that, because it's only seven and a half ounces, as you start putting in longer miles, you got a really good balance of cushion without your feet and your legs getting tired. I really like this for training and racing for the half marathon, half Ironman distance. The shoe doesn't breathe a ton. If you go in here with a lot of shoes, you would end up seeing your fingers. Now this is closed up a little bit more than a lot of the shoes that you'd see out there where people are racing barefoot. You can use these barefoot. I did, didn't get any blisters at all. And the shoe is really, really nice and limber, matches your foot really well. If you notice, I don't have elastic laces on this. I actually had intended to put elastic laces on this because it has little heel thing that you can grab onto. And because the shoe is so supple, I was able to get into it no problem without any elastic laces right in the race. So I left these on during the race actually, it surprised me. It takes a good amount of the load off the beating that your body would take. There's a good amount of room in the toe box. So if your feet wanna move out and like splay and spread out, you got lots of room to do that. And then the heel is nicely cupped. The couple of downsides to this shoe that you should be aware of is this heel thing, as much as I like it, it also does rub a little bit on the back of your Achilles. So if you look at pictures of me from Ironman Cam Pecci, I do have those super badass cycling socks so that I didn't get that heel rubbing on the back of my leg. Granted, I think that if I put in more miles with this, it would probably just toughen up. And then the second thing that I would probably caution you on is this isn't going to be a super high mileage shoe. I would guess that I'm probably getting around the tip top and of using this shoe and having it still feel really responsive at the 250, 300 kilometers. And that's because the shoe is so light. It's basically just a complete foam sole. It's just a thin layer of rubber that's keeping the sole from wearing. The tread pattern has already worn down quite a bit. There's this little bit of a texture, but on a lot of the part that I land on, it's starting to wear away. Here's why I don't knock Skechers for doing that, because a shoe is only a hundred bucks. So if you're calculating, say, dollar per mile in the shoe, it is easily right there with a Hoka, which I think are coming in around $160. A Newton, it's probably gonna blow that out of the water on the dollar per mile because they're coming in at around 170 175 dollars and i've only found that newtons are lasting about 200k so if you're looking for like a real good meat and potatoes all around trainer racer light not so aggressive that it's going to hurt you still nicely cushioned to take away the pounding from some of those long miles i really dug this shoe big big fan and i'm very glad that i have two more sketchers to try out and beat apart. Oh, and it's got four different colors. I'm, I'm not a black guy. I'm like a loud kind of guy. They got that green. I think that's what Nicole has for hers. My black. They've got the purple. I think that's what I would have liked. And then the red. I've actually got the more aggressive racing flat in the red. That is the Skechers Go Run 5s. I was very impressed with how Skechers came to the game of elite running shoes so quickly. I think that they got into it three years ago and with the fourth iteration, they were really well received. The fifth seems like even better. Give them a shot. Look at this, like, there we go. Thumbnail. I gotta go home, it's supper time, it's Sunday, and it's late. I need to be home for Mrs. Triathlon Taryn. I think she's making chicken something. See you, Trainiacs.